Hello everyone, my name is Lanso90 and welcome to Let's Play Star Wars Battlefront. So, uh, you're all probably very familiar with this game. It's not like the other games that I'm normally playing that are really strange, unusual indie games. Nah, now we're getting into the AAA titles territory, which normally aren't my thing, but you have to make an exception for Battlefront, even if it's EA, which I'm not too fond of, and DICE, which I'm not too fond of. It's still Battlefront, so... I don't know. I have to play the beta. I'm playing it on by myself anyway, so I figure I might as well record it. Uh, let's start with the drop zone. I'm pretty good at drop zone. I'm not so good at Hoth. I don't know why. Maybe it's just circumstance. Maybe sometimes I'll just have the better team members or something. Did my waiting. Twelve years of it. Ask me. Actually, I'm not sure how many years it's been since Battlefront 2. Probably pretty close to twelve years, though. Yeah, our starting gear will do good here. It's not the starting gear that most people would have. New players. I have everything unlocked already. But this is what I'll deal with. If you haven't played the uh, Battlefront beta right now, before, this uh, game that we're playing here, we have to rescue uh, our salvage escape pods. Either team, either team can capture them and then you have to hold them. Kind of a King of the Hill type of thing, I guess. I'm not doing so great, though. The Rebel Alliance is capturing that escape pod. We cannot allow that to happen. People have been able to play all day. I've been at work. So you know people are getting better at the game. Well, I've had to sit around and have a life. <laughs> we might switch our weapon next death. This continues to not work out for us. But we're using the light machine gun, basically. Heavy laser. We have secured the area around the escape pod. Stricted the escape pod, though. Watch it, Rebels! The area spies have identified the position of another escape pod. I didn't even see that person there for a second. Sniper rifle out only has one shot. Everyone has this, don't have to be like a sniper class. Actually right now there's no no apparent class system. But maybe that'll get changed. I saw some footage that wasn't supposed to get released of earlier like alpha gameplay. And it did look like there was classes. The guy was selecting the the heavy class. Did he kill that person? Got him. The Emperor Apple does quite a bit of damage. Only has one shot before you have to let it recharge. Catching back up now. Huh? I just had to get back in the groove. Although now I feel like I'm lagging. I never noticed that animal. Slow or whatever that was. Worm.
hit it just Uh, shot with that grenade there. Yeah, infinite, basically. Just have to wait for that cooldown timer, so you might as well. The escape pod is under our control. Lord Vader will be most pleased. Oh. Scanners are picking up the location of another pod. <laughs> Got her. I wasn't expecting to. The escape pod will soon be under Imperial control. So in this map mode, the uh, airplanes and stuff in the sky are just cosmetic. No one's flying them. There's also no heroes in this game mode. We have a thermal imploder, which is like a super grenade. I have no idea if I'll actually get anyone. Animals on the ground. I haven't noticed that bugs and high fires on fire. It's burning me, but it's a decent cover. So wow, we won. And I was the second best player on the team, and I only died three times. Had a 4 1 kill death ratio. It's uh, pretty good. Most positive in the Lance of 90. I'm surprised. First match of the day, I thought I'd have to do more warm up time. Of course, as people play this game more and more, I'm gonna fall more and more behind. I like that on a lot of games. Just annihilate everyone at first, and then, then they start learning all the tricks and stuff. Um, gun did us pretty good, so I guess I should. Yeah, let's show off a different gun, I guess. Uh, Why well, I can't change it there? Blasters. Let's use the E11. So the E11 doesn't fire as many shots, but it does more damage and more accuracy. So you can kind of use it to snipe a little bit. We picked up a signal from the first part. We need to get to it before the Imperials do. I think it drops them randomly. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Switch back to my gun. Whoa, he almost had to drop on me. Shit. I thought they were gonna spawn from the other direction. There's one small problem I've seen with the game so far is the spawn points aren't it's not like the old Battlefront games where there was set spawn points. This one it's more like uh Call of Duty, where the spawn points are kind of 
not random, they're set, but they're not marked. Side to me again. Capture the escape pod. Oh, this thing sucks. We have the location of another pod. Let's capture it for the rebellion. So we got a mounted uh, gun there. You can get like a uh, Sentry turrets, though, like... I think Orcus 2 stop. Yeah, that other thing we got was a proximity mine. I killed myself with it. Never mind. I didn't think it killed me. I just killed enemies. I wonder if it'll blow up on my allies, too. Probably need to... Keep that in mind in the future. That was a good toss by him. I got a kill too though with my grenade. Charge boost. Right now, my only card though is a ion shot, which isn't really useful for this map because there's no vehicles. Come on, guys. That might not do anything. We're securing the area around the escape pod. Might be a few too many grenades in this game. Might be better to do it. I think it might be better to do it like Call of Duty style where you only have like two or whatever. Or Team Fortress 2 and just get rid of them. Then again, the thermal detonator is a pretty iconic piece of Star Wars weaponry, so I understand if they didn't want to get rid of it. Oh, I got the top kit. Oh yeah, the 11 that's one. It does do the most damage out of all the guns. All four of them. There's not very many guns. The Army gun's pretty shit. The 11 does this damage. The DLT-19, it's a machine gun. The escape pod will soon be in rebel hands. It does less damage, it fires faster, and then there's a pistol that's... I haven't messed around with the pistol yet. Because normally pistols aren't what you want to use. Or whatever. Uh. We've secured the area around the pod. Oh. Yeah, I'll try to take that one. See where the next pod goes. Stay are over there. The pod. This one might be difficult. It's far away. Uh oh, flag. Oh, maybe it's just these pipes I'm getting like, blocked by. Uh, okay. Go ahead and take this then. We're capturing the I figured someone would get there before me, I was so freaking far away.
I don't know if shooting s slower adds any accuracy. But I I shoot like it does because I'm used to getting all sorts of achievements here for defending these pods. Not such a great kill death ratio. That's because one of our characters, one of our allies, was stupidly good. Six to two. It's kind of crazy. That'll do it for this episode. I have to go take care of some stuff. But in the next one, we'll go take a look at the Hoth map. Uh, it has a bit much higher uh, player count. So I hope y'all enjoyed and have a good day.